Hello, and welcome to the general concepts of basic life support. The American Heart Association has updated BLS guidelines over the years as new research in cardiac care has become available. In this course, we will be learning the elements of BLS. In this section, we will be discussing the general concepts of basic life support. The AHA first emphasizes initiating the chain of survival as early as possible. The first step of the adult chain of survival is to recognize symptoms and call 911. Next, perform CPR. Then locate and activate the AED. Once you've activated the AED, the EMS team will perform advanced life support. After the patient is stable and has been taken to the hospital, they will receive post-cardiac arrest care. Now let's review the pediatric chain of survival. Typically children do not experience cardiac arrest alone. It is usually due to respiratory arrest or dehydration, which leads to cardiac arrest. The pediatric chain of survival is similar to the adult chain of survival with slight variation. First, prevent arrest. This means that if you witness a child that is experiencing respiratory distress or severe dehydration, take immediate action. In the case that the heart does stop, you would want to perform CPR. After performing CPR, if the child is still unresponsive, call 911. Then the EMS team will perform advanced life support. After the child is stable and has been taken to the hospital, he or she will receive post-cardiac arrest care. This concludes the change of survival for both adult and pediatric cases. The next lesson we will be reviewing is the 2010 BLS guideline changes.